It's the wee hours of Thursday morning, and workers of Solid Waste Management Corporation are out collecting garbage in the Bastyr area on Keon Street, West Independence Square Street, the Bay Road, and the Ferry Terminal. The route takes them to Ponds Pasture and all the way down to the airport road, Needs Must, and surrounding environs. It seems like a typical garbage collection routine, right? Well, not quite. Collecting garbage in Ponds Pasture is no walk in the park. What should be a routine garbage collection exercise is like walking a tight rope at a circus. To begin with, the roads are extremely narrow and vehicles are parked on both sides of the road in front of the gates of homes of the owners. Maneuvering a large garbage truck down those roads while trying to avoid hitting or grazing parked vehicles is no mean feat. Added to that is the low-hanging utility lines in some areas and poor street lighting making it difficult to see at that time of the morning. Truck driver on that shift, Romain Belgrove, has been lamenting that owners of these vehicles need to either park in the drains along the sidewalk or onto the curb walls and not on the road. And then the vehicles are parking out in the road, nobody is going directly in the drain trying to make the job a little easier or even bumping the curb walls for the truck. And you can see how the truck rubbing up the wheels and the, the curb walls all the time and that's how we keep losing turns because after a while, the turns they are showing wire on the side because it's working on the concrete all the time. And then the life of the shot and we have uh, say 50 60 percent. By the time the tire reach 50 percent, the, the don't show you wire on the side and the treads and the top ends that the button don't get all because uh, this is one the main reason. But that's not the only thing that is damaged. Take for instance along one of the last roads in the community. On one side is what appears to be a non-functioning Mercedes-Benz parked obliquely to a utility pole. To avoid touching the car, Mr. Belgrove has to veer to the side of the utility poles after circumventing other parked cars on that street. The truck often comes close to grazing the wooden light pole, but other trucks, not belonging to the SWMC, have apparently hit the post as is evidenced by the splinters and gashes of the stripped wood. I spoke to a guy the already directly in front of the guy's back and all he's telling me is that the vehicle can can move some kind of part you want or something like that, but even if the vehicle need a part, you could at least get it pull a little further along the road to make it easier for it because you, you could see when the lamp was strip off and that apparently come from another big vehicle, maybe bigger than the truck or maybe as the, the same size as the truck, but the driver probably didn't have as much luck as me. And you could see that the vehicle hit the post because the car so bad that the person probably tried to avoid hitting the car and end up hitting the lamp pole. The SWMC is once again appealing to residents in Ponds Pasture to cooperate and to park their vehicles more to the sidewalk or risk not having their garbage picked up. People might say, oh, you can drive because you're going to drive small space all the time, but then if one thing happens, you touch one vehicle, everybody forget how good you can drive and everybody wants a new car because it's all the waste if you're supposed to get a car replaced. I'm Andre Huey, communications specialist with the Solid Waste Management Corporation.